economy is tense with that actually. Town bounty would be interesting. Hmm. I don't have any singular fives. You know what? Screw it. Why not? Let's go with it. Calm down. See five. Let's go for another one. <laughs> oh, I regret nothing. Oh, wow. Oh, that was great. Oh, let's put that in. Hello, Dex. Uh, yeah, uh, excuse me, as I add a card. Wow. Nice. What else do I have, actually, that I can put in? Actually, nothing, really. What does the, uh, Pouser Cage do? Oh, actually, that's pretty good. How big is it? Ah! <laughs> uh, did I see what that does? Yeah. So, yeah, okay, now that's, that's fair. Potions are good, got some cures. Got a nine and a six. Ooh, actually. It's not a terrible idea, putting in a nine. It's reassurance. I could replace it. Wait, do I only have one cure? Oh, that sells it. I thought I had two. Oh, no, definitely then. Adding, adding that. No question. I thought I had two. That's why I didn't put it in immediately. No question whatsoever. I'm actually gonna s wait. I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna switch the two around. Uh, yeah, no, you want you want a curing arsenal because it just you live that way. Um, so yeah, okay, so six or more. I want to at least fight something. I must have a duplicate six. If not, then whatever. But. I don't have a duplicate six on you, but I do with you. Teaming or sleeping? Oh, so tranquil. I guess tranquil. Why not? We'll go with tranquil. It's not too bad. Two blizzard, not bad. More moveable points. Pretty good. Don't know if I collected them all. Oh well, never mind. That eight card though. That that's pretty great. That is pretty great. That does not happen often. No, that's disappointing. And obviously we got more curing capabilities, which is really necessary. A nine curing is good. Um, and I, I was going to replace the other one. I was going to replace the weakest one we had with the cure, but I didn't realize we had only one. I thought we had two. Because you want at least two. It's just logical. You, you want to cure. It's a, it's just smart to do so. So, yeah, that's, that's very good. That's very, very good. Pretty much just replace Cloud with a more powerful Cloud and everything's complete. I think if you get three Clouds and um, combine them, he can do that move where he just slashes from si the side of the screen to the other side. Because that, y you want that. <laughs> like, Simba's, Simba's a good card to have and can be super useful. But at the same time, there are many moments where you're just like, I kind of wish he wasn't there. <laughs> and that's a shame, really, because Simba can be very useful. But a lot of the time, Simba can't. There we go. Not bad. I'm mildly determined to try and level up. I mean, if I don't, I'm not going to be annoyed or anything. But five levels per world. It's a it's a goal that we must achieve. Okay, maybe not achieve. Attempt to get. large bodies so very much kill it kill it now that might do quite a bit that's nice liking that okay not liking that <laughs> nice 
Finish it off. Zeros. More can bounty, good. Zero, ooh, actually. It's pretty nice. That might be the last enemy here. Of course it is. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Goofy is the godsend of this world. <laughs> when you face them, Goofy just wrecks large bodies. Because it's not it doesn't matter what angle he attacks from, it can just get it. Which is so nice. Nice change. We're close to leveling up. It might happen. I know there is a section we fight enemies, but I don't know if we get experience from them. But we'll see, I guess. Yeah, the idea of the uh, room is to kill as many enemies as quickly as you can. And... With the cards I currently have, actually, it shouldn't be that bad at all. It should be really easy. I used to find it a real problem. Uh, but it should be really easy because my deck's actually really good. My deck is really powerful for the point of the game we're in. I know I didn't display that with the Parasite Cage, but the Parasite Cage is just stupidly difficult. This game does have its very challenging moments. There, there's oh, just you wait until later. There are some truly horrible segments. Boss fights which will just wreck you, but let's let's please enter the door. A zero. Interesting. I'm pretty sure I have multiple zeros here. Yeah, I do. Um, okay. Looks like this is as far as we go. Ready then? Let's shake things up. It would be easier if we had them in the fight. Perfect timing. Looks like we've got company. Kill him. So the point of this is wanna Yeah, you don't get experience, I didn't think so. The point of this you wanna make as much noise, quote unquote, as possible. And how it's done is by just completely destroying them. And luckily I have just the way to do it. Yeah, if you if you don't kill any for a certain period of time, the meter turns red and starts to go down. Which is really annoying. But, whatever, what can you do? No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's bad. That's very bad. That's very bad. Kill them all, please. Kill. It's gone down horribly. Okay, come on. Okay, we killed one, that's all we need. Yeah, I never, when I first played this, I had a really bad deck, so there was no way I could ever um, get enough to, to finish it. I think I just need to kill the, re the remaining Heartless at this point, because it's high enough on the bar. Maybe. Or, you'll be a problem. Will you please? <laughs> There we go. Oh, we get Dumbo. I won't be using it. <sighs> what now? It's working. Monstro's gonna sneeze. Ow. Now I know what getting shot out of a cannon feels like. Where's Pinocchio and his dad? They're gone. They must have gotten out safely. Without you, Jiminy? I thought there was no escaping your conscience. I don't mind being left behind, as long as they're all both safe. Maybe Pinocchio doesn't need me after all. What do you mean? That little puppet used to have trouble telling right from wrong, but he's come a long way. Maybe he doesn't need Jiminy Cricket anymore. Maybe he's better off without me nagging him all the time. Don't you remember what Geppetto said? 
There's nothing better than being reunited with someone you care about. I bet Pinocchio's counting the days till he can see you again. Well, what do you know? You might be right. Well, here we are. Well, that's that well done. And we got a few more cutscenes to check out. I should probably save though, just to be sure. Okay, here we go. Oh, Father! Don't you remember everything else about that girl? Yeah, bits and pieces. Tell us about her. Talking about it might help you remember. Okay, um... She was quiet, and almost always drawing pictures. While we were all swimming at the beach, she'd draw a picture of it instead. Sometimes, she drew us too. She was really good at it. I think sometimes Riku and I would fight over who would get his picture drawn next. But one day, she was gone. Just like that. I think our parents knew the reason. They might have even tried to explain it to me. But I was little. I probably didn't understand what was happening. I remember crying a little after she was gone. That's it. I still can't remember her name. Well, after a while, we'll just remember all of that. At this rate, we'll find her name in no time. Anyone notice something odd? Sora is remembering things instead of forgetting them. Hmm. Maybe forgetting things is the only way to reach the memories buried deeper down. You mean you have to forget to remember? So it's like those black road guys said. Our most precious memories lie deep in our hearts. Out of reach. And all that stuff about finding being losing and losing being finding. I didn't get it at first, but maybe this is what they were talking about. Ah, uh, that's their plan! The rest of us remember all of them there. Come on, Goofy. We're not running fast enough. Let's move. See how much you remember? It can't be long before her name become before her <laughs> before her name comes back to you too. I'm sure. Uh, I wish I had lots of very memories to remember. <coughs> <laughs> it looks like Sora's memories have taken root. Just as we planned. Let's see how far our boy will go then. Think it's time for another round? Only if it's my turn to play. You had your fun on the first floor. Remember, Larxene. Our job is to deliver him in one piece. Fine. But who says I can't have my way with him first? Don't break him. Do I detect a soft spot? He's partly one of us. I'm not going to break the toy, Axel. Just play with it. I'm not dumb. Then you won't mind the warning. Remember... Sora is the key. We need him if we're going to take the organization. So you're in on it too? Well, keep it under your hood. Until the time is right. You would have been wise to have done the same, Larkseen. So, Sora, have you remembered your friend's name yet? Nope. For whatever reason, her name's the only thing that isn't coming back. I must be driving you crazy. You have the memories, but no names are your with her. <laughs> yeah. Sick floor. Huh. Don't you just hate it when something's on the tip of your tongue? Oh god, yeah I do. If you ask me, you're this close to remembering your friend's name. 
what is this voice I'm doing? That's not Donald. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this world, and I will see you for Halloween Town. Goodbye.